Hello and welcome to this section where everything converges to produce the production grade workflow of our sample app with DynamoDB. This section is the culmination of everything we have learned and done so far. My honest assessment is if we have understood the concepts and workflows in all the previous sections, you will be able to implement everything we will do in this section with little or no help from me. So this should be your barometer in a sense. AWS code pipeline will do its magic yet again and we will see how it glues all the components we have been dealing with so far. For the last time in this course, we will use AWS code pipeline to integrate code commit, code build and code deploy services for build and deployment on EC2 instances. We will also see the deployment on Elastic Beanstalk and finally we will simulate the scenario of staging and production environments. In this case, Elastic Beanstalk will be the staging environment and a fleet of EC2 instances will be the production environment. So the end result is this. You modify the code on your local machine and push it on AWS code commit. It will trigger code build which will create build artifacts. Code deploy will automatically pick up the build artifacts and deploy it on Elastic Beanstalk which is the staging environment. A mail notification will be sent for approval to proceed. Once approved, code deploy will deploy the build artifacts on a fleet of EC2 instances which is the production environment. At all the stages, app will connect to the central DynamoDB table and we will validate if the six APIs we have created are working. The beauty of this workflow is that everything starts with just one command, git push. And thereafter, only one manual intervention is needed, that too for approval, which is optional. This is the AWS DevOps tools in their full might for you. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next lesson.